Hello again. Before we get started with our story, I realized I didn't show you my buds. So I have my buds here. And I cut this little tiny branch for my apple tree. I have an apple tree in my yard. And this is what it's doing right now. All right. It didn't have any leaves and it was bare. And now it's starting to get little tiny leaves. And those are called buds. And the buds will open up and become flowers at some point. And those flowers will become apples that I can eat later in the summer. So I will cut more and show you along the way the different stages of what an apple tree does. Sort of like a life cycle of an apple tree or a life cycle of an apple. And then I found flowers. Some plants go directly into flowers. So here we go. Here we can see the flowers starting to develop. And then here is one nice flower. And then here's another one. This one will, won't turn into any kind of fruit. This is just a tree or a bush that will start to grow more and more leaves. And we'll talk more about that when we talk about plants later in the month. So I just wanted to show you before I forgot. <clears throat> We're going to actually read a story about animals and how they keep warm. Because it's not quite warm yet. Even though it's spring, it's really kind of cold. So how do animals keep warm? Do you think frogs drink hot chocolate? That's how I would keep warm, right? But that's because we're warm-blooded. And if we want to feel warmer, we just put on a coat. Or if we want to not be so hot, we take off our coat. Frogs have to find other ways to keep warm because they're cold-blooded, and frogs are amphibians. And this story is non-make-believe, non-fiction. These are real facts, okay? So how do frogs, or do frogs drink hot chocolate? How do animals keep warm? So when it gets cold out, do animals turn up the heat? I know I've been turning up the heat lately. Right? No. Well, so how do they survive this chilly weather? Well, let's find out. Do frogs drink hot chocolate to keep warm? No. That's pretend. This is real. Some frogs don't even try to keep warm. The Alaskan wood frog turns into a frog sickle. Is that a frozen frog, a frog sickle? It spends the winter with most of its body frozen. And when the air warms up, the frog warms up too. What about penguins? How do they keep warm? Do penguins just snuggle up with a friend? Yes. They do, they do. In the winter, thousands of emperor penguins, which is this type of penguin, they come together in a giant huddle. It's warm in the middle, but it's cold on the outside. So what do they do? The penguins shuffle. They take small steps, they change places. And that way they all get a turn to be in that very, very warm middle. Pretty cool. Okay. Butterflies. Butterflies are coming out. It's kind of cold for butterflies. Do they just sunbathe by a pool? You know what? Not by a pool, but they sunbathe. Mm -hmm. Remember we talked about cold-blooded animals needing the warm sun and warm places? So yes, butterflies can't fly if they are cold and they can't make their own heat. So what do they do? They catch some waves. If it's cold, a butterfly will sit on a rock or a log and stretch its wings, and then the sun warms up its flight muscles. Butterflies have muscles to fly. Oh, do foxes wear earmuffs to keep their head and ears warm? No, they don't. Arctic foxes have small, furry ears, and that fur helps but so does the size of their ear. The ears stick out in the cold air. A fox's body can lose heat that way. 
So smaller ears don't stick out as much as big ears, so they lose less heat. So foxes who live in cold habitats have smaller ears, but there's a fox in Africa where it's really, really hot. They have really big ears because when they get hot, the, instead of taking off a jacket when, like we would do, the heat goes out through their ears. Pretty amazing. Oh, funny. Do turtles jump up and down to keep warm? Can turtles jump? Especially, do turtles have trampolines? No, they don't. Many turtles will burrow, which means to dig and hide in mud. So they will burrow into the mud and dead leaves at the bottom of a pond. The water there is cold, but it never freezes, so it doesn't turn into ice. But it usually stays warm enough where it remains a liquid. That's the perfect temperature for turtles who like to snooze while they are waiting for spring. <clears throat> what about polar bears? Do polar bears build homes, do you think? Well, they don't build a home like this, but yes, they do build homes. Mama polar bears who are ready to have babies, they build dens but not with wood and hammers. Instead, a mama bear uses her sharp claws to dig out a cave in the snow. And when it's finished, she crawls inside to have her babies. And then the den keeps them all safe and warm until spring. And remember I told you that a lot of animals are having their babies right now? This is why. Oh, what about whales? <clears throat> we talked about whales, my favorite animal, my killer whale. They live in very, very different habitats, some very cold. Do they wear snowsuits to keep warm? They don't have to, no. They have blubber under their skin. And this layer of fat keeps their body, temp for their body heat in and the cold out. So whale blubber can be really thick, as long as your dad's foot. It also stores energy. You remember what energy is? So the whales can't keep going, can't keep going for a long time without eating. What? Living things need energy, an energy source, and that's food. <clears throat> Do squirrels curl up in, under blankets? Well, sort of, yes. And what kind of blanket do they have? Is it a leaf blanket? Squirrels have built-in blankets, and when it's cold out, they wrap their long, bushy tails around themselves so their body heat won't escape. And that's not all. As the temperature drops, less blood flows into their tails, and instead it stays into their body to help keep them warm. So squirrels are warm-blooded. How about this? That's pretty silly. Do monkeys take hot baths to keep warm? But guess what? There are some monkeys that do that. Yes. Who likes a hot bath? I do. These are called Japanese macaques, and they love to take warm baths. And there are places in Japan where hot water bubbles up naturally from the ground to form pools. After playing in the snow, these monkeys will jump into these hot pools to warm up. Sort of like you guys playing outside and you're jumping into your hot tub. <clears throat> These are called tuataras, a type of reptile. Do they sit by a campfire and play guitar? Well, no. Their bodies cannot make heat. Remember, they're cold-blooded. But these bodies can. So what does a tuatara do? It has a sleepover with a little bird who can make heat called a fairy prion. The heat from the bird helps the tuatara from getting too chilly overnight. So they have sleepovers, these birds and these reptiles. Oh, do honeybees Ooh, use teamwork? Do you remember talking about bees and making honey? Yes, they do. In the winter, honeybees form a cluster 
around the queen bee. Do we see the queen bee? She's the biggest one. Then they shiver together, and by vibrating their wing muscles, they make the air temperature warmer in the hive. And this keeps their queen bee toasty and warm. How do bees have all this energy for all this shivering? Well, they eat honey, of course. And last, this is talking about migration. Remember animals that leave an area for better weather? Do birds fly south? Yeah, they sure do. Not all of them. In winter, some birds fly south in search of food and warmth, like our sandhill cranes. Other birds survive cold, wintry weather by eating as much as possible. Like we have the magpies and the chickadees in Park City. They stay, they don't leave. This gives their body energy to keep warm when they eat as much as possible. Remember, food is energy. Feathers help too, and when they're fluffed up, they trap warm air next to a bird's skin. And if Frida could fly back and forth, Frida would fly somewhere warm because she doesn't like cold weather. But she lives in my house and I keep her nice and warm. And this is a silly animal called a guanaco. Do they wear leg warmers to keep warm? Sort of, they do. This type of animal has a thick woolly coat and there is le little fur on their legs. When it's cold outside, these animals lie down with their legs tucked under their bodies, and that keeps them nice and warm. All of the animals in this book have special ways to survive the cold, but what about you? How do you survive the cold? Hmm.